Okay, good morning, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. I'm reviewing the StockSwish show play of the day today, ARL. This was a complete baby snail, and I almost didn't do it. Why? Because it really didn't have a big target. I'm really glad that I didn't allow my sense of thinking that it was I needed something massively mover today to not do this because it actually was the only clean play. Only clean play today, nothing set off cleanly. Even the one bullish gap that I watched had no clean setups, and it was a just something that I wouldn't have wanted to tangle with. But let's look at the ARO. And actually, this is a three-hour trade if it goes to the target, but I won't, I won't be in it. I mean, I'm not in it anymore. Anyways, opened, rallied up, and I tried to hit it here, and I just didn't get filled everything. I did get filled some, and then I kept pressing, 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 and sometimes you have to try different ECNs. I finally got filled. I got filled in the green boop up here, which then I got filled everything. So then it worked out. And then I got through the drop, and then I had a good exit on the first half. Never thought the whole thing would rally back again, but I actually did call another short in this. You could have taken the half back again. I didn't. I stayed with what I had because I just didn't feel like getting nuts today. It's Friday. And then it dropped on down, and then I actually lowered the stop here because I figured, well, if it keeps on going a minute, and if it doesn't, I'm out. Time of the day and everything else. And the market and the target, I was trying to be realistic. One of the targets was 315. It basically got there, but I think it continues to go. And I'm all out. So the stop on this was the best thing in this, actually. And, and as long as you got filled everything you wanted, and I did, luckily, in the green, which is unusual. But this is, you know, you got to leave the order set. If you take it off or kill it or wait for the red, then you, didn't, you probably didn't get your full size on this, no matter what you took, and especially if you took a lot. So this was a nice trade. With a nine cent stop, if it goes to three, it's more than three R's. I'm not gonna see that. I'm already all out of it. Because I'm not gonna be picky with targets today. Market could follow through or hold today. This is very small and I'm not gonna sit Friday afternoon in something for four hours to make 15 cents. That doesn't make any sense. But this was a decent gap. And I'm sure a lot of people actually tried to buy this in here. That's why you see this kind of action and also here. Do you see this as people trying to buy it on the 200 pre moving average? This activity here and here is people trying to buy it that are traders, but that's not the institutional direction. The institutional direction was a short, which is the way we played it. So this is very skillful, very skillful today on my part. How do I know? The gap, the gap rating, it rated good, and we had perfect entries, and I knew exactly where the resistance was, and I knew the targets, and this is why we did this so, so well. This is an exact replica of Staples from last Friday. The Staples didn't have the follow through. This is actually falling through better than Staples. But I played Staples so expertly last week that we had a great day, and today's a solid day too. And by solid, and what do I consider a great day? Any day where everything works and acts perfect, where the gap rates good, where it sets up beautifully with the numbers, where they have a good stop, and it goes to at least one target or beyond, and I get the perfect entry and a perfect exit and at least half the position. That, and it happens easily, and I don't have to struggle, and I don't sweat a bullet, and I'm up money as soon as I take the trade, and I don't have to worry about anything, and I really don't care about the market, which I actually don't care about the market in this today. This was lower today regardless of what the market did. And a perfect, perfect, easy, peasy day to me is when everything just falls into my lap. And that's the ones that we do. And you could have gone hog wild here. And you only would have gotten filled in the green like I did, though, which was fine. But if you got scared when it booped up green and then killed your order, then you didn't get filled. So you have to know what you're doing again. But I'm sure, and I have 100% conviction, that people actually tried to buy this today. On the 200 pair moving average that are traders, they made one attempt here and they made a second attempt here. So that is because of the fact that it was sitting right here on this support. But as far as institutional positioning, it definitely, definitely, definitely was a short for certain. I think that, um, oh, I know what I was going to say. I know what I was going to say earlier. I just, I just remembered it here. In reference to trading specifically, you got to look for the right thing to do and find it. And, and that, in this, in this, in this moment, we are trading perfect, and the stock is perfect, and we were one with the stock. The thing about people when they look at their trading is everybody wants everything black and white. They want black and white, black and white, black and white, black and white. Somebody said something in the room this morning, I forget who it was, I think it was Great Gatsby, about the um, historical data of charts. If you just looked at what the trend was in something at a certain given time period of the year and played it that way, then you would never, no one would ever lose. You'd always know what to do in something. 
It isn't about that. And that is what is happening and setting up in the market that is really tripping people up and continues to trip people up, by the way, as well. But getting back to what I was saying about the black and white, there isn't really black and white in trading. I have rules. I follow them. I followed them today. I created my own rules. I followed them. And we did the stock and it set up and it worked and it worked. But the, rule, the rules I made are 26 points. It's 20 or more in the 26 points. So even that, do you see there, there's that cushion of the six points. Trading perfectly as a professional, as an expert, you don't look at things black and white. You're in the gray area. I was walking home from the gym yesterday morning. I actually went to the gym and I forgot my credit card to pay for the cab. I took a cab up and I, for, I thought I lost the credit card. I, I thought I was worried I lost it in the street. I took a cab to the gym because I was late, which I sometimes do, and it's too cold. I've been doing it. And I then I couldn't pay the driver. And he let me out. I said, oh, my gosh, I thought I lost my credit card. And then I couldn't, I obviously couldn't take a cab back. So I had to walk back from the gym. And I was walking back, and the moon was out. The sun, it was the sky was light, and the moon was out. And I was walking down Broadway, and I was looking at the moon. But it was daylight. And, and if I had looked opposite me, and it was, the sun was up. I was looking at the moon and the sun, and I was walking down Broadway in Manhattan, and I thought, this is where I live. I live in the middle between the moon and the sun, and it's the same way with trading. It's a gray area. It's like if I would draw the moon and the sun, the little area here is where there's a star, and you have to be that little star, and that star is the center of the universe. Between the moon and the sun, between the black and the white of trading, it's a gray dot. It's very small, and hardly anyone lives there. But I do live there, and that's how I can do something like this and the staples on Friday and call the market and everything else. If you're looking for black and white, you're in the market, you're never going to find it. And that's why people are constantly looking for the holy grail. The holy grail is they want to is never doesn't exist in the market. You accept it for what it is, and you live in the gray area. There is no black and white, and you just learn how to get good, and you learn how to find this area. And actually, just talking about walking down the street and looking at the moon and the sun, that's how you should live your life because you'll be at a lot more peace. Trying to force something, living on the moon or on the sun, or living in the black and the white, you're not at peace and you're not at balance. It's about living in that special, special place. And that's why I teach about the balance in the class too. All right, so that's what I was gonna say earlier. I just remembered, yep, there it is. It was pretty neat though to see the moon and the sun at the same time in the morning. I have to notice that for more often, but I don't always walk back home. Sometimes I take a cab because I'm running late. Have a great day, everyone. Have a fabulous weekend. The next Golden Guide class is March 21st and 22nd. If you're interested in signing up, email me at melissaatthesockswish.com. This is ARL, play of the day. It's probably going to go to $3, but I won't be in it by then. You'll have to be in it until 4 o'clock. Have a great weekend, everyone.